Police officers picked up Chisto Ongom, popularly known as Kasumali, from his studio in Machinje, a Kampala suburb, and detained him at Katwe police station. He's suspected to be behind the video recording showing a couple in sexual intercourse. People further allege that uh, he's the one spreading uh, the, 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 the pictures and the videos. Kasumali was arrested after Robin Asanyo Mweruka, a TV presenter and anchor who is allegedly in the sex video, reported a case of extortion to ethics minister Father Simon Lokodo. She reportedly accused Kasumali of trying to extort 15 million shillings from her so that he doesn't release the video, which Sanyo says was doctored. The face is hers, but the body is not hers. And as far as we believe that he is the one behind the whole ugly activity of uh, tarnishing and uh, making everybody blemish. But Kasumali denies these accusations, saying he's not the man in the sex video, adding that he has never had any sexual relationship with Robin Asanyo Mweruka. Singa kamunyete yalega kubifana nyi, biyange biyamu jimu, unakuteka kufesi yange, kurelatinga binonabili, eda tuwali muntu yali vude mubanga gama antino yo Kasumali. Kasumali is now threatening to sue the tabloid which published the video grab and anyone tarnishing his image. From Katwe, Kasumali was later driven to the headquarters of the Police Criminal Intelligence Investigations Directorate, CIID, in Chivuli for further questioning while his studio is to be checked for any pornographic material. And uh, we're going to defend him until the contrary is proven. Women's organizations have expressed dizzy regarding the emerging trend of releasing sex tapes, especially targeting the woman. They say this is ridicule, meant to portray these women as objects to be disrespected and humiliated, an absolute abuse of their privacy. Chief Executive Office of the Federation of Women Lawyers, FIDA, Irene Ovonje, says the Constitution prohibits the abuse of anyone's privacy and the perpetrators can be punished. No, if the police are supposed to prosecute such matters or to arrest such matters or investigate and they are not doing it, then they also would have failed in their duty to protect. The women activists condemned what they said was a selective attention by the public and state agencies to women's nudes. They cited the recent exposure of singer Desire Luzinda. Minister Father Lokodo says some men are out to use dirty tricks to shame women. People can place cameras somewhere, somehow, you know, in dolls, in flowers, in something, you know. Today you have that phone, but tomorrow you'll not remember. You'll just edit the files. Yeah, yeah. But when you sell a phone or give it to a mechanic or someone, they can always retrieve that data. Meanwhile, another sex video was released today, still depicting a woman suspected to be a media personality having sex with a man whose face wasn't shown. But can abusive people on social media be sued and punished for malicious comments? Yesterday we had a meeting with Uganda Law Society for its members and it was sensitizing us about uh, some proposals on amending the civil procedure rules so that the new technologies like Facebook and WhatsApp and Twitter and pictures can be considered as evidence in courts of law. The anti-pornography law passed in 2014 punishes such lewd acts. If found guilty, a person can be made to pay 10 million shillings or serve a jail sentence of 10 years or both. Florence Nalimba, NTV.